Hey, what's going on, YouTube? It's SW Boston here, bringing you another video here on Wednesday. Um, I'm going to make this a vlog day, not a gameplay day, as I have been busy over the last two weeks and I had to push a lot of videos back. So, today we're going to vlog um, with E3 coming up this weekend. I just thought I'd talk about some things I'd like to see and some of the things that have already been revealed um, that are going to be there. So, let's get right into what's going to be going on this weekend at E3. Um, first up, is the hardware and everything that's going to be there. There's been talks about a new PS4 and new Xbox One coming out. Um, I've had friends that are real into the hardware scene talking about the Xbox One and how it's going to be uh, integrated to be more like a PC where you can change your parts via um, graphics card, processing speed, all that. You can uh, buy new pieces from Microsoft and be able to plug them into your Xbox and uh, kind of upgrade it like it would be a PC. Um, I'm not sure how true that is. We'll find out on Monday when Xbox and Microsoft have their um, own press conference. But that's something I'm looking forward to um, because storage on the Xbox One is going to get pretty tight uh, when more and more games are coming out at the same time. Um, as of right now, I don't remember how much uh, storage it has on it, but it's going to be a lot better if you can get either an external hard drive or upgrade your hard drive for your uh, Xbox. So that would be great to see. Um, there's always new things for controllers, headsets, the apps that they come out with and they partner with. So I'm looking forward to that from Xbox. Um, I'm also looking into Sony to see what they're doing. Even though I do not own a PS4, I always like to stay on top of what all the developers are doing and seeing in which direction that they're going. So uh, that will be on Monday. You have Microsoft, Sony, and I believe Nintendo is also on Monday. Um, the PC developers are kind of scattered throughout the weekend. But on the first day, which is Sunday, you have EA Sports, um, which is a big day for me. I've been an EA Sports fan for the longest time. Started playing Madden with my cousins. Um, I played FIFA over my friend's house and NHL. I kind of just randomly picked up one day and started to, just started to play it. And uh, now they're kind of a, a regular habit for me to buy. They just recently, I think it was two or three days ago, put out the FIFA 17 trailer, which is um, it was very short. I believe it was like 30 seconds long or something, but they're saying that it's going to be transforming into a new kind of soccer. Um, so, um, I'm kind of excited to see what they bring out with that. It's going to be different as always. And then uh, NHL 17, they had a short trailer about the improvement that's going to happen. Um, where the goalies are going to be more uh, lifelike. And they're going to be more uh, angular based. So that they'll be taking an angle towards the shot and not be more mostly reactive. It's going to be more based on angles, which a goalie really is, which um, I hope is a good thing. Because playing NHL 16, you had moments where you could execute a play absolutely 100% perfectly. And the goalie would just, just make it the easiest save in the world. You could do a perfect cross-crease pass. To a guy on the other side, ready to tap it, and the guy and the goal—it would seem like the goalie was sitting there waiting for it to happen. Um, so maybe this angular base play by the goalies is going to be more—they play up angle on the shot, and then if you make a great cross crease or a great pass across the ice and have a one timer, um, you have a, little, a very high chance of scoring because that's kind of how the NHL is. If someone makes a perfect cross crease pass, unless they just kind of flub it off their stick or just shoot wide. They should just have it happen. Um, so those are two games that have already revealed trailers. Madden has not revealed a trailer. As you can probably hear that thunder in the background. Um, I'm looking forward to Madden. I mean, Madden has been changing for the last five, seven, ten years. Um, along with NHL and FIFA, they're trying to get more and more realistic and have the skill sticks involved and make it lifelike, make it realistic 
And uh, I think these games, the EA games, are really progressing towards being the most realistic games that there are, for sports at least. Um, so that conference is on Sunday. I believe it's 12.30 or 4 o'clock Eastern, something like that. So I'll be watching that, watching the Xbox reveals. I'm really looking forward to seeing what Xbox announces for um, not only exclusives, but games that they may pick up from the PC world or smaller games that they may pick up to come to console. Um, the big ones that people are looking forward to, DayZ, H1Z1, um, those are two really big games on PC that people would like to see come to console. Um, I've been in kind of an idea that you'd like to... Mm, I'd like to see the developers of Microsoft and um, CSGO kind of come together and maybe make an agreement to make a CSGO console version. Um, it'd be kind of hard to figure out all the uh, controls and all that because you have unlimited with the keyboard, but um, bringing it to console I think would expand their uh, horizons a bit and get more players. Um, even though they're doing absolutely amazing on PC. Um, I'd like to see it on, on console and see how people kind of uh, use it. I think it could be done. I know there's been a CSGO game in the past and it was pretty bad on the console, but I think given the time and the effort that people can put into it nowadays, they can hire a whole developing company to put it together over the next year um, or more, a year, year and a half, two years and just spend time making it exactly like the PC version. You can have updated graphics, and I think they could do it. That would be a massive pickup by any of the consoles. Um, but we'll find out at E3. I'm looking forward to seeing, of course, Madden, NHL, FIFA. Um, I want to see some gameplay of Modern Warfare Remastered. I hope they bring out some gameplay of it. Battlefield 1 is going to be there. And uh, I'm not a huge Battlefield fan, but I'll be watching that. Um, they're said to be um, not remakes, but sequels to old games. So I'm looking forward to seeing those. So E3 is hopefully going to be huge this year. Um, they're going to have some live events there. And uh, as it will be on Twitch. I'll be looking at it on Twitch, um, spending most of my days on there. So if you guys have any uh, comments ideas, what you'd like to see in your favorite games, what you'd like to see at E3, put them in the comments down below. If you like this video, hit that like button. Hit subscribe to stay up to date with all my videos, guys. This is SW Boston. Have a great day. Let's go!